Hello everyone, hope you're having a glorious day. In a previous video, we discussed the fact that we are more than just our physical brain and body, that we are spirit. And this is an entity of us that transcends this earthly physical realm to a heavenly realm. What is the spirit of God and how do I connect with that spirit? Well, a very close friend of Jesus and his student, who was a disciple named John, wrote down this truth. By this, you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses Jesus as the one who saves us, the Christ, who has come in the flesh, is from God. But every spirit that refuses to confess Jesus, that spirit is not from God. And that is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and now is already in the world. So with the rise of people's search for spirituality, there has been a, a fascination with things like seance, tarot reading, uh, palm readings. And there's always this promise of talking with dead relatives or predicting your future. How do we test every spirit? Well, we use our mind and some common sense. Let's take a look. Consider this statement. All religions are true. See, most people who believe there is something more than just the physical world go along with this statement. They'll say, yeah, I can get behind all religions are true. It's this idea of coexist. But there's a difference between coexisting with all people and coexisting with all ideas. Our forefathers dreamed of a country where everyone would come together and coexist. All people would respect one another and love one another. But they also knew that not all truth claims are the same. It's that way with every spirit. Not every spirit is the same. What do you mean by that? Well, Let's add a truth claim to our previous one. So all religions are true. We add Jesus is God. Some religions don't believe that Jesus is God. So how do you hold both of these truth claims? Logic prevents it. In India, they don't eat cow. In America, we love steak. So people would point to this and say there's no universal truth in moral behaviors. The fact that What's good for one country and one people and one culture is not good for the other. But the thing is, if you ask an Indian why they don't eat steak, they would say because we believe that our ancestors are reincarnated in that cow, that the cow is sacred. And in America, if we believed granny was the steak, we wouldn't eat it because the universal truth is we don't eat our ancestors. And that is an agree, agreed upon truth of Indians and Americans. So let's take two truth claims of the Bible. Uh, sex is sacred. Sex is best expressed in the safety and security of a marriage between a man and a woman. And forgiveness, turning the other cheek. Now if we put these truths to most Americans, they would laugh and scoff at the first one. They would say, sex is our right to express it however we want. But they would get behind the second one. They'd say, well, yeah, I can, I think, I see why forgiveness is good and it moves things along. Now, what if we took these two truths to the Levant and asked uh, people throughout the Levant in this culture, and they would say, yes, of course, we know sex is sacred, that it's only for marriage, that it prevents STDs, it prevents unwanted pregnancy, it upholds the family structure, that um, you, know, you avoid all kinds of chaos in broken relationships. But if we ask them about the second, forgiveness, they would say, oh no, turn the other cheek, no way. That shows weakness. If an enemy hits you, you have to hit him twice as hard. So how do we rectify these truths using logic? Well, either there is an unseen existence, a reality beyond this life, a heavenly realm, or there is not. 
And if there is, then Christians, Jews, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus have it correct. If there is no unseen existence beyond this life, then materialists, naturalists, and atheists have it correct. But logically, both cannot be true. Either God is personal and Christians and Jews have it correct, or he is not personal and Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, pantheists, New Agers have it correct. Either Jesus is the rescuer of humanity and Christians have it correct. Either Jesus is God and Christians have it correct, or he is not. And Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, pantheists, New Agers, and Jews have it correct. See, logic prevents all of these ideas to be equally true at the same time. Now, socially, people don't like the unpleasantness of conflict of ideas and don't have the skills to interact with others of differing opinions. Just look at political discussions. And they divide among genders for reasons rejecting a Christian worldview or distancing themselves. For women, it's a, usually about abortion or social acceptance being politically correct or the sexual sanctity or sexual freedom. Sometimes even women's liberation as I talk with them. Even though the irony is the Bible can, is one of the most liberating books for women. But it says the same friend of Jesus, John, recorded, they still refused to believe in Jesus because they loved the praise from men more than the praise from God. They would rather be popular than to follow the truths. Now, what about men? Well, I hear men say, oh, I'm a science guy. I don't believe in the Bible, even though the Bible and science are not mutually exclusive. But they often cite reasons like the Big Bang, evolution, a worldwide flood, or sexual sanctity versus sexual freedom, or the reliability of the Bible as reasons that they reject a Christian worldview or distance themselves from Christianity. I would encourage you to read this book, Can We Trust the Gospels by uh, Cambridge scholar of ancient literary criticism, Peter J. Williams. It is an excellent treatment on that subject. But if we knew something better, if, if we knew something better than the cure to cancer, would you keep it from someone? If we knew how to connect our spirit to fill that void that's empty and hollow deep inside of us, should we tell other people? Should we tell people we love there's a, a better choice, a better way of life? Or should we just affirm their choice? See, an atheist once said, if you are a Christian and you don't tell me about it, either you don't believe it's true or you don't love me enough to tell me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to connecting with you next time.